Hello, I'm so glad that you came to the kitchen today with me. Um, I'm going to prepare something today that I think everyone would enjoy having, and that's banana bread. This recipe I really love. It fills the house with a wonderful aroma for one thing while it's baking, so that's a nice thing. Um, also, if you have a friend that's going to drop by, that's wonderful because what you can do with these, this bread is you can pop it out of its container, roll it up on a loam and fall real tight, throw it in the freezer. It's always ready. You pull it out, you heat it up, you slice it, add some strawberries, maybe a little bit of whipped cream, cup of coffee. You and your friends can sit down, have a nice refreshment together and a nice conversation. So it's really nice to have these on hand in the freezer. <coughs> so that's the reason why I like this. To get started, you want to put your oven on 350 degrees. Get it uh, preheated. Grab yourself a nice big bowl for mixing and prepare your loaf pan. Take your loaf pan, smear it down real good with butter, grease it all up and everything to get it ready to be filled. <coughs> so now you're ready to go. You want to add, you want to put in your bowl three bananas. These have been mashed nice and smooth. Sometimes you can even add, which I have before, add some nuts. Chop some nuts up in this. This makes it good too. But not everybody can eat nuts or like them. So this particular one will not have nuts in it. This is two sticks of butter at room temperature. <coughs> I cut them up in little squares to make them get softer, easier to blend in. So you want to mix this in. <coughs> so you mix all this in. Takes a little bit of time. Doesn't have to be completely blended because it will incorporate itself and the ingredients as it heats up in the oven. It's a very moist recipe. Makes a nice moist banana bread. <clears throat> so this is pretty much, this is pretty good. So now we're going to add to this <clears throat> some uh, brown sugar. And this is three-fourths cups of packed brown sugar. Mix that in. Mmm. <coughs> I can taste this already. Now we add to this two large eggs. Okay, now we want to <coughs> add a teaspoon of vanilla, approximately. Maybe a little more. It doesn't hurt. It can't hurt. Okay. So we've got that all mixed together. Now we want to add the rest of the ingredients. <coughs> the first thing we're going to put in here is one teaspoon of cinnamon. We want to put uh, one teaspoon of uh, baking soda. Mm. 
and we always add a little bit of um, salt and about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. <coughs> to this, we add two cups of flour. Coming together, looking good. Okay, pretty good, nice texture. Got the butter all through it, all of the nice ingredients, the cinnamon, the egg, the flour. Now let's put it into the pan, into the loaf pan. <coughs> Look at that. Oh, it smells good already. Mmm. Get my little trusty spatula out here. Okay. Smooth it out. Give it a couple of hits to get the air bubbles out. And in the oven it goes. This is going to be in the oven for about an hour and 10 minutes. Kind of, we'll kind of watch it, make sure that it's, you know, taken care of okay. But it's about, usually about an hour and 10 minutes. It, it's finished by then. And when it's finished, we'll pop it out and slice it up and let you see what it looks like. So stand by for a piece of banana bread. Okay, we got the cake out of the oven. We got it all cooled. And this is a wonderful banana bread. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Whipped cream, strawberries, blueberries. You take a slice of this, a little bite of everything. This is a wonderful thing to offer to your friends when they come over to have a cup of coffee, a little piece of sweets and nice conversation so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you're going to try it i know you're going to really enjoy it and your friends will be really happy to receive it and give me a comment maybe you have a recipe that you'd like me you'd like something to see also maybe you want to share one with me i'd be happy to have that too so please subscribe and come back because i have a whole lot more to show Bye-bye.